Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In today's demo, we'll be looking at configuring the dialing rules on the 1X agent. You can find detailed instructions for the 1X agent in the Avaya 1X agent 2.5 documentation library. Let's get started. So we've already logged in our agent and now we want to configure our dialing rules for that agent. We'll just click on the system settings and we'll open up our dialing rules configuration panel. Now the first setting we need to look at is the dial number to access an outside line. Now this in North America this is usually configured as a 9 but it can be 8 or 7 and in Europe they usually configure it as 0. Now this tells the system that you need to dial a 9 to access an outside line. In my configuration in North America 9 is what we're going to use. Okay, next your country code. In North America, it's a one. And in Great Britain, it's 44. And in Australia, it's 61. You have to look up your area for your country. The next thing is a local calling area code. And for me, I'm in Alberta, Canada, so it's uh, 403. And you'll have to just enter in your local area code. And if you have more than one local area code, say you live in uh, Los Angeles or New York, uh, you need to add the additional area codes separated by a comma. So if uh, 403 was one and 780 was the other, you'd just enter them in a list separated by commas. And each one of those would be identified as a local calling area code. The next number we have to enter is for accessing long distance calls so your local exchange would provide that information. In North America it's a 1 so I'll just enter 1. And the next number we need is to dial internationally and in North America the international access code is 011 and you'll just have to look those up for your local area. The next field we need to take a look at is the extension length for internal extension calls. Now this is any internal sets that you want to dial. Now you have to check with your administrator to find out what your extension length is. But in, in my case, my extension length, length is five digits, so I'll put that in. Now your system could have multiple communication managers and they may have multiple lengths of extension. So you might have um, extension lengths of five and six. Now to handle that all we need to do is add a comma in here and add in the other extension length. Now any number that we dial that has uh, an extension of five or an extension length of six will be treated as a local internal extension. Now the next number we have to enter in is the length of national phone numbers. So in, this includes the area code and the city code. Now in North America it's 10, but if you're in a country where you have uh, telephone numbers with more than 10 digits in them, uh, let's say that your country supports lengths of 11 and 12, we just enter them separated by a comma. So 10, comma, 11, comma, 12. Now uh, any telephone number that consists of 10 digits, 11 digits, or 12 digits will be treated as a national phone number by the system. The next item we need to look at is including the area code, city code, when making a local call. Now because we have two local area calling zones, we automatically check this so that all local calls will have the area code as part of the dial string. Now if we delete the 780 area code, and I'll just uh, delete that, and now the option here is not grayed out and we can actually deselect it. If you did not need to include the area code and city code in the dialing string, you could just uncheck it. And now that'll only work if you have one local area code. If you have multiple, this will automatically be checked. Now if we wanted to also add the long distance prefix to the local calls, uh, we could check that here and we just check this and that would insert our number to dial for long distance calls right here. So in this case it would insert a 1. Uh, this last box here is to display a confirmation window before dialing a number. 
Now if we check this, every time somebody dials a number, it'll come back with the actual string that it's going to dial before making the call. So uh, we can do that just to ver verify during our setup here that we have everything set up correctly. And then the time period for pauses in seconds. So anytime there's a comma in the dial string, the application will pause for two seconds. And finally, we'll just click on OK to make these changes permanent. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.